is Jeopardy. Not Jeopardy. Definitely not that. But I was inspired by the world famous board to build this quiz game, which is honestly pretty fun. Looks pretty clean to boot because of Flet. Let's build. Start up our virtual environment and pip install Flet. Create our directories for API and user controls. Create main.py and start working on our quiz game class which handles painting our game onto the screen. We like building from small to large, so start with a box with a 200 in it. The plan. Our 200 box is a user control called clue box. We call the flat build method and we can also return a category box if this property is declared true during initialization. In addition to 200 or box value, we will return different texts and build methods to return each value, clue, question, and blank. To switch between these, we click the box and change the state of the box to the appropriate text. All that gets bundled neatly into a class that will be called by our clue category class. This one builds one column as a list of clue boxes. We bundle that class up to be called by the game board. The game board is called by our main page and returns six clue categories by looping through the selected subjects or categories. The way OpenTDB API works is that each category necessitates a different API call. Now, we have built our page from small to large with clue box, then category, then board, but we call our classes from large to small. By playing around with the Trivia API helper, we realize how it works and build a class to call and parse our API for us so that if we change our API source, we don't have to change TriviaGetter.py. So play around with my code link below. Tell me what you think of the new video format in the comments and subscribe for more walkthroughs like these. Click on this video to learn how to make a GUI for a YouTube downloader.